Welcome back to Hello Nigeria. We promised you we'll be bringing in the third winner of Dirty Dream. And he's here, seated with us. He designed the outfit that Ella wore at the grand finale. And he's currently about to start an internship with my Atafo. I present to you on my immediate left, Yahaya. Thank you for joining us. Thank you very much. And on my extreme left, the brain behind the whole of this, the woman who has made it a point of duty to ensure that these young people go into the house and come out totally different, better equipped, and, you know, really ready to face the world. Her name is Katarina Potoloski, <laughs> and she is the founder of Dare to Dream, as well as the label you know and love as Kinabuti. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you so much for having us. Okay, Welcome. so before I come to speak with you, I think we should start with Yahaya. Yes. Okay. You made Ella's outfit. Yeah, sure, I did. What, what, how did you get through the creative process? Was it your idea or her idea? Or both Where, of your ideas, because it was really brilliant. I wish we had a picture of it. With it had, it was really dramatic. Yeah. I think uh, basically, I when I saw uh, what she wanted to present, I saw something butterfly, dragon. So I knew at that point that the dress was going to have wings. So that I think that that was just the the basic idea behind the dress. So really, how did you pull it off? Because I used to think design was all about you know materials here and there. But with the wing thing, how did that come on? Like, it would, it's, it's actually very surprising because we, we made that dress that morning. Yes. Are you serious? Yes, it was, it was that, that dress was basically hand sewn. Wow. Yes, with needle and thread, yes. You saw that thing with needle and thread? Yes. What? Yes. Wow. <laughs> I'm sorry, how long have you been doing designs? Well, officially a year. But I've been on this the path for like seven years. Okay, I think yeah. it's time to talk to Katarina. I'm sure you must be swelling, your heart must be swelling with pride <laughs> yes, when you see yeah. these people and how all the effort you've put into their life is actually paying off. And you are also a designer as well. So tell us what, 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 what it was you saw about Yahaya the first time that you saw him. Yeah, so we met Yahaya in Unilanga. And I think this year we also... Uh, started the process in a different way with the designers. Uh, we uh, made them create a mood board. Uh, so you know when you, you spoke about dragon, the, uh, the concept behind it, because you're not just making clothes, but you need to conceptualize that. And yeah, Aya has always been somebody very committed, uh, always uh, de delivering things on time, uh, and uh, always doing his homework. You know, you heard from uh, <laughs> Ella and from, there was a lot of homework. I was shocked. A lot, uh, you know, like not just in camp, uh, even before you join camp, during camp, and even before you join boot camp. Uh, so it's, it's, uh, and Yahai has always been somebody that uh, got very high results, uh, get things on time uh, from social media through the assignments. Uh, so, and on top, he had a very amazing uh, um, talent. Uh, even when he joined the incubator, designers had a special incubator with Maya Tafo. Even then, uh, his talent was recognized. Uh, I, he has something that uh, people love. You know, I think he has this uh, gift uh, of making women look very feminine. And I loved about this collection that he presented on stage because he not just uh, designed the dress of Ella, he presented uh, the collection that then made him win. Uh, he represented one of the Yoruba goddesses, which was uh, Oshun. No. Yemoja, actually. Yem okay. yeah, Yemoja, yeah. So oh. I'm, I'm going to throw this to you now, Katarina. How long did it take you to realize you had to dream? Because. Okay, so. Where did you get the idea from? Why? why so basically, why when we started it? our fashion label, Kinabuti, we started in 2010 in the slums of Port Harcourt, where we went to look for models. And the idea was, uh, you know, these were communities under the risk of demolishment. Uh, and, uh, you know, like, uh, they were always looking down on this community. The, and it was also a way to, you know, m m feel uh, pride wherever you come from. So when we did this project, which was really nice, and it was our first uh, ever project, we said this could be turned into a format. Uh, but it took four, year, four years to make it happen, you know, like, uh, and... Uh, it, the idea moved from communities to universities. Uh, it started with model, but I think is the evolution is ongoing, uh, and experience and feedbacks from the youth. I must say something that even the grand finale, even Flo, we sat down, nine of us, uh, you know, the dreamers, me, all in my room, uh, and we defined the even Flo together. And it's very important because 
the, the dreamers got trained so well and, and they are so committed that uh, they, I trust them, you know, like even outside, you know, here there are other dreamers uh, filming. Uh, they are so intelligent, well prepared, committed uh, to really make a difference in their own lives uh, and in their lives of others. Wow. Wow, this fantastic. is really amazing. Well I'll planned. speak with you as well, Yahaya. Sure. We had a conversation with Ella as well as Olamide, and they shared with us their journey. You know, what was it like for you? Ella explained how hers was and all that she learned. Olamide mentioned about the master classes. I'm trying mm -hmm. to see which angle you'd come from. How was the, the journey <laughs> through Dare to Dream for you? Starting from your auditions. Well, my, at my auditions, I cried because I, I was not expecting to win. I was not expecting to win at all. Then we got into the special incub incubator for designers, and we I met with Maya Tafu. That experience was amazing because he put us through a lot of things. And then we got into the boot camp, and we were not doing anything related to our talents at all. <laughs> when we got into boot camp, there was nothing like fashion or um, modeling or anything. We were basically there for business. It's either you're doing the business masterclass or you're doing the, uh, your uh, digital skills and all. So basically, for me, the experience was an amazing one. Wow. It's something I would want to go, go through again. And we hear that you're about to start interning with Maya Tapu. Yes, I'm, I'm really excited. Oh, I'm really excited, yes. Again. Okay, um, fingers crossed, you know, we're looking forward to see Dare to Dream Season 6. Emeno. And we want to see all the amazing talent. <laughs> You've done really well. Thank we you for thank all God. that you're doing, yeah. pouring into our young people. We look forward to seeing more and more of this. And we hope that people who want to participate, how can they get in touch you know, to, so that they know when the forms have started selling or when yeah, the course The course usually starts around April. So there is a, we release it online and people can submit on our website. Uh, and uh, yeah, but everything from April. But meanwhile, you know, we really we continue releasing ed um, edutainment content for you who so want to learn. So, more. what's the website? www.daretodreamng.com. And our handle is also there number two dream ng. So there two number two. Yes. Dare to dream ng. Thank you so much Thank for joining you so us. Much. Thank you so much. How can people follow you as well? Thank you. Sorry. How can people follow you on social? Okay, media? Um, my social media handle is fiki dot Spell F I Q I. F I Q I. Q I. Dot Y A H A Y A. All right. We've been, we're wrapping up the conversation with the Dare to Dream, but the question to you is what are you dreaming about? Stop dreaming and start doing. To enjoy more of this, our Ugonke videos when you just watch, press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.